what kit did you use on Bohemian Rhapsody? Well, that's Can another, you remember? That's another story. You know, something... Well, Bohemian Rhapsody happened probably within 24 hours. We got a call saying, could we do it? Well, we run out of cameras. We just sold a truck and we didn't have anything. And we went to Ewart Studio, which is now Capital Studios in uh, Wandsworth, and we managed to blag a, a Fernsay German camera from him. We had two cameras left ourselves, which was an LDK-13 and a Philips PC-80. But it was that none of these cameras on paper matched in those days very strict that you know you couldn't do it but the engineers with their skill matched those cameras right and they put that in we went in in the morning and by four o'clock the director turned up and by about eight or nine o'clock we were ready to go down the pub we you know we just just rushed it so it was all shot all shot in a day yeah very much what were the setups did because i I, I, I reminded myself of the of the visuals, because yeah. I probably haven't seen it since 1974. But don't, don't look too closely. No, but it's uh, it, it's it's got it's obviously got that the iconic kind of foreheads. Yeah. You know the kind of yeah, the, the foreheads together. Multi- we managed to get a multi prism lens from a chap at Elstree. We knew the senior cameraman there, and he had one, and uh, we brought it down, and somebody provided a frame for it, but it didn't work, so we just held it in front of the camera, just literally held it there and did it like that. You know, it was done like yeah, we got it right done. And the uh, video howl round was. Um, Is that when you get that tracer off of? Yeah, well, it's like it's like a sound howl round. If you put a microphone and feed oh, it into like itself, feedback, basically. It's feedback. It's feedback. Yeah. And when you look at it, it looks so simple, but it it was quite hard because it was it was running all over the place. Right. Got yeah. And to get it at the right moment. Because they, I suppose it must have been after that time on top of the pops. They used that effect quite a lot, didn't yeah. they? Do you reckon that was inspired by? I'm your sure, efforts I'm there sure that, that day you know I don't know um, but people tried everything we, we were trying also with Kate Bush when we shot uh, Wuthering Heights you know we'd seen this um, 16 mil hang on a second sorry Wuthering Heights yeah the Kate Bush video yeah. with Wuthering Heights yeah. and all of the arms yeah it was a great idea because wow. I'd seen um, uh, well the director on that was brilliant again chap Keith McMillan very clever man no because I, I thought I'd um, researched you slightly on imdb so i saw, I saw i've oh, seen that's... i've seen a bit of stuff come up but kate bush wasn't on there mike of... mike oldfield wasn't no, on there loads it's not on there's loads most of it's not on there i've been I've, i don't you've done the elo yeah i did that yeah. elo yeah. um yeah have you, have you ever worked with david bowie yeah yeah i did the glass spider tour yeah and i did heroes yeah yeah, yeah. well you might have to come back yeah 